All right, we'll look forward to that. Thanks, Michelle. Well, it's been part of Hamilton's history since 1913, but tonight its days are numbered. According to Hamilton City staff, the Century Theatre will likely to be demolished later this week. But as Adam Ackerson reports, some residents are upset, saying the building could have been saved. The whole situation is basically a tragedy, and a tragedy that could have been avoided. It doesn't look like much now, but in its prime, the Century Theatre was a gem. And just the sheer amount of history in the building, you know, the Marx Brothers played on this stage in 1919. You know, there was a murder backstage. Um, this, the theater was used for continuous Keith Albee vaudeville. When it opened in 1913, it was originally called the Lyric Theater, but the building was modernized and renamed the Century in 1940. 49 years later, the theater on Mary Street closed and has been empty ever since. It may have sort of slid into obscurity for most of Hamiltonians, but there was a lot of people who were looking after it um, by you know, recording its history and also hoping that one day it could be returned to its glory. David Kirk owns a business on James Street North and a building built in 1893. He says the city should do more to ensure Hamilton's historic buildings are maintained. There's probably no hope for this building, but what we can do is use these buildings to protect the other buildings we have in the downtown. You know, what's it going to take, you know, the, for a whole city block to be demolished, that we start looking at our heritage and looking at our history a little bit more uh, importantly. Last week, City of Hamilton staff confirmed the ceiling had collapsed, forcing the top two floors to fall onto the first floor. Engineers are investigating whether it can remain standing. CHH News learned this afternoon the century will likely come down later this week. It's the tragic waste. A historic theater like this, you can't build them. There are a finite number of them, and it seems by all indications that by the end of the week there's going to be one less in Hamilton. In 1989, the historic Tivoli Theater also closed its doors the same year the theaters in Jackson Square opened up. Now, the last movie to actually play here at the Century Theater was Mel Gibson's Lethal Weapon 2. Nick? All right, but looks like that's going to be... Uh down soon. Thanks a lot, Adam. So the big question is, why is Hamilton having such a problem with old and derelict buildings? A new proactive inspection bylaw in place is supposed to be making things get better, but as Scott Urquhart reports, while there may be a bylaw in form, in function, it's a different story. The city has 36 building inspectors qualified to say this building is okay, but this one is ready to fall down. But the inspectors are mostly tied up with new home construction. The seven people who look at old buildings come from the property standards branch. They aren't qualified to say whether a building is structurally sound or not. But if our officer during that time, you know, during their inspection, they find a, a crack or some loose mortar, they would forward it onto the building department. This building behind me at King & Hess has been abandoned for more than a decade. There's been at least five separate arson fires here, and the roof is totally collapsed. So why hasn't this building been torn down? The way the law is written now, you, you need a building permit uh, to tear down the old building. So you have to have a plan in place to replace it, and the building has to go up within two years. And there are no plans in this economy to do anything with this wreck. And so it will stand here until perhaps it falls down. It's the same with a lot of derelict buildings. And even if the enforcement branch sees something that could potentially be hazardous... Again, that's, uh, that falls under the um, you know, jurisdiction of the building department. That's theirs. We're, we're managing the external that we can see. It's us and them. And even if a qualified building inspector wanted to have a look at a particular building, they couldn't go inside. At least not without the permission of the owner. And if the owner isn't really interested in having his building assessed, he can basically just say no. The one exception, public safety and the imminent danger of collapse. It's an advertising billboard telling everybody that your city is not doing very well. We can't go on like this. We've had a number of buildings fall down. And no viable solution in sight. In Hamilton, Scott Urquhart, CHCH News. Hamilton's historic Century Theatre is coming down, but it's going to be a long, slow process. Closed 20 years ago, it was designated a historic site, but was not kept up, and now has been condemned. Today, a couple of workers gingerly picked their way through some of the crumbling brick to determine how best to say, safely take it down. They would not tell CHCH News what the plan was, but that it would come apart by hand and likely take over two weeks to clear. A stretch of Mary Street south of King has been cordoned off for the public safety. 
Well, a small piece of Hamilton's history is beginning to disappear. Maria Hayes joins us now with more on the demolition of the historic Century Theater. Hi there, Maria. Hi, Nick. Well, Nick, the Mary Street building is literally coming down brick by brick. Crews began to dismantle the theater on the weekend, and the initial work is actually being done by hand. It's a painstaking process, and it's expected to continue this way for most of the week. However, once crews remove the top two floors, they'll move in the heavy machinery and demolish the remainder of the structure more quickly. There are two reasons for going about the work so slowly. The first is preservation. There are elements of the theater the owner hopes to keep and incorporate into his new construction. The second and most important is the safety aspect. We're trying to make sure that um, that wall doesn't cave in on Mary Street itself or the uh, uh, towards the buildings on either side of the uh, theater site. Um, uh, health and safety is always number one for the building inspectors when they're inspecting this kind of uh, demolition. Now this is a building with a lot of history, a lot of memories for a lot of people living in Hamilton. Anyone hoping to just catch a glimpse of the century before it's completely gone should do so rather quickly. The city expects the entire project to be completed by the end of next week. Nick. All right, so there's a warning for people if they want to catch it. Thanks a lot, Maria. Maria Hayes live in our newsroom tonight. Well, the Welcome back to Morning Live. It is 5.54. Well, the city of Hamilton is trying to become more proactive when it comes to protecting, or if it has to, demolishing empty buildings. But as Cindy Chordash tells us, one Hamilton councillor says the way the city has been dealing with unoccupied buildings is disgraceful. The Century Theatre is just one of approximately 70 vacant buildings in the city of Hamilton. It's a black eye in our our community and it's not going to help us move ahead. Councillor Bob Bertina says changes are being made. See, previously it was uh, inspection on complaint but we don't have to get a complaint now. The problem is we didn't take enough care uh, to ensure that the buildings met property standards. Why we did that, I don't know. We have limited resources, certainly. We can't be everywhere all the time. John Spolnick, Hamilton's Building Services Director, says the property standards bylaw is being updated. The city orders owners of vacant buildings to board up their windows and make sure a roof is in place. If an empty building is not properly maintained, the city could take steps to have it demolished at the owner's expense. Uh, that process starts with property standards uh, officers looking at the building. Uh, when there's indications that there's some type of deterioration, then it would move through to the building inspections. Inspections of vacant buildings will happen every three months. Don Harrow, an antique store owner beside this vacant building on King Street, says an empty building poses a threat to public safety. When you see a building like this that's been sitting here for almost 20 years, uh, vacant, and at the entranceway to our downtown core, it certainly is not a, a welcoming sight to try and bring people down to the downtown. I think it's a challenge, and I think it's something that, that we're going to continue to be challenged with. Contractors say they're still picking away at this building using their hands. It'll be a couple weeks before the Century Theatre is completely demolished. Cindy Chordash, CHCH News, Hamilton. Well, the Century Theatre in Hamilton is now just a pile of bricks and rubble. This is all that's left of the Century Theatre this evening. Demolition of the derelict building was ordered earlier this month after it started caving in. The theatre, which opened as the Lyric nearly a century ago, closed in 1989. It's been vacant ever since. A proposed condo project for the building never got off the ground.